Hey guys, here's what I've been working on. Here's the Dos Cabre, and I think this is officially the way I'm going to string every Dos Cabre from now on. Uh, that includes the two cross lace strings that go down the side there that kind of act as runners, kind of keep the pocket a little stiffer, just keep it all in good shape while minimizing weight. Dos Cabre is actually a pretty light pocket. Uh, it's less complicated than a lot of other string jobs like the Heat. He uses these Eiffel Tower kind of twists, similar to Rocket Pocket. Rocket Pocket uses the twist that goes all the way from the sidewall up to the center cross or the center leathers, and then back down. This one, of course, has the little loops there. I think those kind of help ball control. But having just that single twist from the sidewall all the way up to your center, whatever's there, that kind of minimizes the amount of like. Um, the amount of um, break-in that you're going to have, so there's less knots that need to tighten. Uh, it just turns out pretty nice, Dos Cabre, uh, because it's got these double interlocks now. I've started using double interlocks. It's just got a lot less shifting going on, so it kind of holds its shape wherever you place it. This one was supposed to be a mid-pocket. I think it turned out pretty nice. I think it looks pretty cool. So that's the new Dos Cabre, probably officially the one I'm going to be selling again someday. Here's a heat pocket that I did for a customer. Uh, this one I made a little too deep, so I had to go through and tighten up all of the inner cross lace there. And it kind of brought all the leathers closer together. But this thing rips. You want a mid-high pocket, something for just ripping crank shots so this thing really does it holds the ball nicely gets it off real nicely I want you to notice the shape my pockets have kind of been shifting shapes these are all mid high mid high pockets but if you notice the ramp it goes beyond the sidewall here and that's where you get a little bit of whip just that play pushing the ball out of the pocket whoops <laughs> So that's kind of the shape I go for. When I'm stringing these, uh, a lot of times I'll use a pocket stretcher for some of it, and then I'll use my hand for like the rest of it, just holding it, kind of feeling the tensions, feeling where they're at. So I think this one turned out pretty nice. Getting that out tomorrow. My boy Justin. And finally, <coughs> this one I might redo. This is a pita pocket on the CEO. Customer wanted a mid to high pocket. This kind of, uh, I think pita pockets in general are kind of shifty. This one turned really high, as you can see. I blame it mostly on the fact that I used two interlocks on the sidewall. I don't know if it's true. I'm pretty sure it's true. But your, your placement of your knots kind of determines where your pocket's going to sit. So if maybe this one was just pushed be behind that one there. It would kind of hold the pocket a little lower, but right now it's just shifting too high, it's just a little too whippy. So I'm going to redo that tomorrow. So that's what I've been working on, uh, as well as getting kits out. I finally got my order of black leathers. I don't know what is going on, but black leathers are just gone. I, they're hard to find. Uh, if you do find them, some, a lot of times they're expensive. Hopefully Jim will actually get a new order in. But as of right now, I don't have any black leathers for your kits. So if you want a kit, no, there's no black leathers. I did get these cool pink leathers in from Jim Lax. That's a new color. I made up a bunch of kits. I'll probably be putting them on strings and things at bigcartel.com pretty soon. Uh, that's something I'm trying to sell more of is pre-made kits. That way I don't have the problem like before. Of maybe not having the colors you want. If you order one of my pre-made kits, you you have the peace of mind of knowing that it will go out either that day or the next day just because it's already made. All you gotta do is put a label on it and ship it to you. So get a pre-made kit. I got a lot of pre-made white kits. These pinks, like I said, they'll be on there. Uh, they're pink and white kits. So if you're into the whole breast cancer awareness thing, you might want to get a, a pink and white PETA kit. Otherwise, get a get a white kit. They're all they're all uh, packaged up and ready to go. So.
that's what I'm up to. Just kind of woke up and started working. Tomorrow, finish this guy off, make it a little better. Ship off those other two heads. Then I only have one, two, three. I think three other heads to string, so that's what's up. Getting really close to being caught up, and it's awesome. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.